practices calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. What's the context? Targeted as an individual. 就是这番闪烁其词，让质询的共和党议员超火大，同时引发外界质疑：美国最高学府是否沦为反犹温床 ？Anyone who claims to care about human rights should denounce these horrors. 随着以色列在加沙的报复攻击，造成越来越多的平民伤亡。反犹声浪蔓延美国校园。Harvard, U Penn, and MIT are not alone in experiencing a rise in on-campus anti-Semitism in recent weeks. At other schools like Cornell, George Washington University, and Tulane, recent anti-Semitic incidents have also made national headlines. 三位校长在听证会的表现招致抨击。哈佛校长紧急透过校园刊物正式道歉。Calls for violence against our Jewish community. Threats to our Jewish students have no place at Harvard and will never go unchallenged. Bing Da 校长也自拍一段影片，澄清本意。I want to be clear: a call for genocide of Jewish people is threatening, deeply so. 但共和党议员不买单，联合致函三校董事会，要求罢免校长，甚至有金主扬言不下台就撤回捐款。It shouldn't be hard, and there should be. No nuance to that. Calls for genocide are unacceptable.、Uh, it's vile. And it, it's counter to everything this country stands for. 针对反犹，美国政坛罕见没有分歧，但同时也有三名巴勒斯坦学生遭到枪击，而加沙烟硝一时半刻也散不去。民间的挺巴氛围不断高涨，就怕以哈情势让类似争议持续重演。三立新闻王少云报道。